Hello also in last video we saw how can we create a step report in SRS and for that particularly we added this group header in our report. So if I go back to my SRS report as you can see here we are having a grouping available at three level country state and city and we added that group header at topmost or parent level grouping that is country name. We can also see we have grouping available only for rows but there is no grouping available for columns. Now in this video, we'll see how can we create a matrix report in SSRS and for that we'll refer this documentation provided by Microsoft. Okay, now in this uh, same page, if I scroll down, they have provided this example. So as you can see here, they have used uh, row level grouping by category and column level grouping by geography. So basically category and geogra geography, these two are dimensional attributes and they have used these measurable attributes called line total and that's why uh, our, your report will look something like this. So when we create a matrix report, basically we should have row level grouping as well as column level grouping. Now uh, we'll try to create a same similar report with our employees data set here. Obviously I cannot use the same example instead we'll tweak our example a bit so let's assume we want to analyze our data uh, employees data and need to understand employees who are joining our organization on what particular year they are joining and on what particular month they are joining so we'll uh, divide our report or group our report row level grouping by year and column level grouping by month so let me go back to my sql query and if you see here right now we do not have year and month attributes for that what i will do so i will add two more columns here higher date year and higher date month and i will just grab the year perfect so we have uh, year year and month available now I can utilize this data now but before creating the actual report what I will do is I will create a copy of this report I don't want to touch this existing report so I will rename that to matrix okay and let me go this add existing item and I will import this guy which I created just now. I will close this report and let me open the report which I created just now. Perfect. So as I said, so uh, we need to create a matrix report. So I will delete this guy completely. We don't need this table. Oops. Okay, or I will select this and I will simply press delete. Perfect. So everything is gone. Now what I will do, I will right click here, insert and instead of table, I will use this matrix. Perfect. And let me, okay, let me make some space here. Perfect. So this is, this looks something similar to this. Okay. Now, as I discussed earlier, uh, we are going to analyze our data, uh, employees data, like need to understand employees who are joining our organization on what particular year and at what particular month they are joining. So I will create a row level grouping by, okay, I need to change my query first and employees data set. Perfect. So now if I see, I should have this higher date, higher date year and higher date month. So I need to, I will create a row level grouping by year. So I will simply drag this guy here. Perfect. And I will create a column level grouping by month. Perfect. Okay. So this is what we wanted. Now we need to know how many employees joining. So in this case, employee ID would be our measurable attribute. Okay, and I cannot simply use employee ID reason being it will not give me the count. Okay, see, it's give me the individual employee ID, which is not correct. Our intention is to identify how many count of employees. So I will go back expression and employee ID is a unique key. It's a primary key. 
so there is no need to add distinct here so it simply count will work perfect okay we will also add the total total by row and total also by column so i will go back here and see automatically as you can see here row level grouping and column level grouping got created and i will simply add a total perfect let me go back okay this looks pretty i will just modify these headers i will make this bold so let's say bold underline this total bold underline bold underline okay and what i will do i will increase the width let me also give colors to that so foreground color i will give let's say steel blue okay and steel blue i will give the steel blue to this guy also okay sorry i will change background as steel blue okay and i will change the foreground or to white perfect and i will do the same thing for this guy also change this to white and maybe i will give this background color as let's say dark blue i'll give this total same white and i will change this to steel blue let's say perfect add this total steel blue and i will change the text to white i will make this bold it's solid there perfect okay now this looks pretty good okay now let me go back to the example which they have provided in this documentation now they have added this see adding a parent group or child group to a matrix so we can uh, extend our report further what we can do so basically now we got how many employees joined particular year and particular month but let's say we can also find out particular year these what these are what our employees joined they joined in which particular region or which particular particular country so we can extend this report and for that uh, let me make some space here and at column level grouping i will simply create additional group at same level so you can see parent and child will not add will not change the hierarchy but instead will create a another group at same level so adjacent after and here i will add a country name okay and what i will do i will change this to country perfect okay now still you cannot see the values here reason being we haven't added the measurable attributes at, at as yet and maybe you can add sum of salary so let's say sum of salary let me change that to dollar value so i will text properties 
number currency and separator perfect so as you can see our report provides information okay let me make some space for this country yeah now it makes sense we have to change this also so i will go back here text box properties numbers currency yeah now it looks pretty neat i will modify this country name a bit so it's it's not appearing country name basically our it's give oh, that's a mistake i did i should have added this country name i should not change the header yeah now this looks perfect only thing is so there are some employees who doesn't have any country so what we can do is let me go back to my query and if country is null uh so there may be some see country is null so what i will do is when country is null then let's say na or uh, not available let's say okay and i will use this guy here perfect see now our reports looks pretty neat uh, we can make this total as bold so what i will do bold bold perfect okay so basically we saw how to create a matrix report in this video so it gives us information uh, about uh, employees who joined on what particular year and on what particular month also by country okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video